Hello again. Now we're going to work on our hands. The dreaded hands. They really, they seem so hard, but they're really not. So, well, they are hard, don't get me wrong, they're very difficult, but they're not as hard as um, you think they are. Um, Alright. First off, I'm just going to give you kind of a heads up of what the hand is. It's that little appendage on the end of, end of your arm. Um, yes, <laughs> it is. Um, see, this is your wrist. Remember, you've got, since this is palm out, we're going to do, um, this is, you've got this thing right here. Um, you've got, it's really just a circle. That's all it is. But then you've got this thing, and if you feel it, it's a nice, big, plump little muscle right there. So we're going to go ahead and draw that in, and that's the thumb muscle. And your thumb isn't as long, obviously, as the rest of your fingers. It's very short. A lot of people make the mistake of bringing their finger joints, the spread of their fingers back, all the way down to where their thumb is. I used to do that. I do it sometimes. It always messes you up, and it, it's, it just doesn't. And your thumb, I mean, it barely comes to the front joint of your fingers. It's maybe about halfway through your first little portion here. So, and it's got one joint, which is right here. It's kind of your thumb knuckle, and then it's got one joint in there. So it's got two places and one joint. Circle, joint, circle. <laughs> next to the fingers and they've got obviously a knuckle, space, knuckle, space, knuckle, space everybody knows that so it's got space, space, space and they really do, they go from bigger to smaller or well, I guess depending on who you are they stay the same or they get bigger, you know people have hands, they're all different kinds of hands all sorts of things. And you really should draw this out because it goes just about straight up. And your pinky comes off and just kind of goes like that. Unless you're like that, it'll curve. But otherwise, it's relatively straight. And it does, it comes, your knuckles, a lot of people, ah, let's see if I can get this, okay. We'll draw them flat. They're not flat, they're curved. Because you can see this because this one is under this one, which is on top, which is over everything else, and it's a nice curve right there. And you see your knuckles do the same thing when they're bent. They just this one's out the furthest, and since your pinky is smallest, it's in closest to your palm. So, and remember that your middle finger. I'm not going to show it to the camera is your longest finger. And this should come to either the knuckle, maybe halfway up, right there, is your index finger compared to your middle finger. And this one is longer than your index finger. Um, you know, these can vary a bit depending on who you are, but I've seen people making all the fingers the same length, literally, and um, just doesn't happen. <laughs> and everybody makes a mistake now and then. They mess up on the fingers or something like that. Another thing they do is they make two left hands, two right hands, two left feet, two right feet. Um, don't do that. <laughs> I always check. I think I've only ever done it once. Always check. <laughs> it's just something on one of my checklists. And then... Another thing is people put their hands in unrealistic poses. This is not a realistic pose. This is more realistic, this is realistic, you know, but this is, y your hand just doesn't want to do that. I mean, it's like, oh, I'm so girly. That's great, but your hand just doesn't sit like this. Okay? Cool. So, <laughs> your fingers are not meant to sit like this also. So, you know, give your fingers a little space. Because you don't sit like this all the time. You just give your fingers a, that you draw a little space, you know, blah, get air in there, 
You know? You don't want your little anime character to be uncomfortable, do ya? Oh, so we gotta... Yeah. And... <laughs> another thing... Is, let's see. Now we're going to just draw around these fingers. Just loosely, you know. You may have made a circle too big, a circle too small. Um, right here, also, the indentations are round, if you look at this. They come, I guess, to a point somewhere, but this is not a point. It's very round, and people will tend to just go... And if it's at a curve, yeah, it'll look like a point. But then you've got this thing that kind of comes up to the knuckle, showing that this part of the hand is overlapping the next. So, you want to remember that it's not a point. It really is a curve right there. And there is a space, just like with your um, crotch groin area that we talked about. Remember, if anybody doesn't understand this or doesn't figure it out or something, you know, just talk to me. So, right here, between, if you're looking at your hand, it comes out and then it's the rest, so it does have that little thing, unless you're like going like that, where it's a very nice curve right there, really. Hmm. Um, so just remember that, keep that in mind. Um, fingers are relatively straight, they don't... A lot of people tend to draw fingers like this, like old artists used to do that, and it's not a finger, it doesn't have any joints, any proper joints. And I've seen artists do this. It, to me, um, it, it looks alright to a lot of people, because it looks a little stylized, but to me, in some of the styles and opportunities I've seen it used, it detracts from the picture, really, because you can have this elegant looking um, man, woman, child, whatever, and it can be the most beautiful, detailed, colorful thing you've ever seen. And then they could have these weird-looking hands. And it just kind of doesn't do it for me. <laughs> so I, I like knowing that there are joints. And a lot of people will only draw this middle joint. And I've seen that used, and it's great. It'll work. Some people who use it, I use it can make it look great because, you know, when you bend your fingers and you're holding on to something, you really can't really see that last joint. But if you're like, the hand is curved or something, you will see that last joint. So don't just be like, okay. Tim's here. Anyway. <laughs> That's really just a hand and then, you know, you can erase this, etc, etc. Hands are hard, so practice does make perfect. Um, another thing, let's see, okay, no, for the palm, <laughs> I'll get to that other thing later. Got this crease that comes like this, this crease here, this crease here, you know, but you don't have to do every single crease, you know. Some people got an X in the middle of their hand, you know, it all depends. But, you know, just a couple creases or something to let us know that which side of the hand it is maybe a line or something to show where the the wrist is and that's pretty much it it's a lovely lovely hand and then if you want to you can put nails on it um, nails you know they they come off the top of the hand don't I've also seen people do just the fingernails like that yay um, if you're doing a very stylized character like somebody off a Disney movie like, oh, an evil villainous, um, that's great. Or if that's in your style and you draw all your hands like that, that's great too. But um, for somebody with long nails, just go in and draw the nails. So, And some nails just don't look like that. Some nails are flat, you know, or some nails are just very short. So, um draw, you know, just, again, nails are for the type of character you have. 